integral square root of 1 plus another square root of x. Why don't we just do u sub and hope for the best? I like that approach. So u equal 1 plus square root of x. To get dx, that's iso. Uh, that's just differentiate. du equals 1 over 2 square root of x dx, and then dx equals reciprocal, right? So it's 2 square root of x du. Uh, okay, so far, yeah? And um, we see that this is the integral square root, and the 1 plus square root of x is the u dx is that, 2 square root of x du. Uh, we still have the x in the u world, right? But don't worry, because we can figure out what square root of x is by going back here. Square root of x is equal to u minus 1. So we just have to replace this by u minus 1. And now, check this out. We can put a 2 at the front, and then integral square root of u times u minus 1. I will write this as u to the 1 half power. And then distribute. So this times that gives us u to the 3 half power. This times that is minus u to the 1 half power. And now we are ready to integrate. Add 1 to the power and divide it by the new power. Add 1 to this, we get 5 over 2. So divided by that, we have 2 over 5. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just distribute already. 2 times this, we get 4 over 5. u is that, so parentheses, 1 plus square root of x, and then raised to the 5 over 2 power. Next one, right here, add 1 to the power, which is 3 over 2, and divide it by the new power, which is 2 over 3. Distribute the 2, we have minus 4 over 3. u, which is 1 plus square root of x, raised to the 3 over 2 power, and then we're done, plus t. Done.